it's very much going to be of the same philosophy as the previous group. They're changing the name. Marine Le Pen, the leader of the, uh, the, the uh, Rassemblement National, this far-right group in France that had that runoff election against French President Emmanuel Macron, is using this as an opportunity to come and stamp her authority back on this Eurosceptic faction within the European Parliament. It is growing in numbers. Her, the previous group, this Europe of Nations and Freedom, have had 36 MEPs sitting with them. This will have 73 out of the European Parliament, 751. They've managed to get Germany's far-right group, Alternative for Deutschland, on board with them. So there will be a little bit more power. But what they'll continue to be calling for is for uh, power, decision-making power, to be returned back to national capitals and not to be held here in Brussels in the European Commission and the European Parliament. They've teamed up with Matteo Salvini. He's obviously now in uh, the Deputy Prime Minister of Italy. So they have a stronger voice, a stronger visualisation. But this ID party is very much in the same vein as the Europe of Nation and Freedoms Party that came before it. The group would have been even bigger if they could team up with British Eurosceptics. Why has that been so difficult to do? It's been a perennial problem for the Eurosceptic factions in the European Parliament, Rosie, and mainly because the Brexit party leader and prime Europe Eurosceptic from the United Kingdom, Nigel Farage, wants to keep his own party, which means that he can speak in any plenary session, uh, the full House hearing of the European Parliament. If you lead a group, you get to stand up and make a statement. And for that reason, and along with sort of minor personality clashes, the French and the Italians have never really been able to team up with the British. If they had have done, it would have been a much bigger group. At the moment, this ID group will now be the fifth biggest European grouping in the European Parliament, but it could have been potentially even the, 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 the third or the fourth had they managed to get Nigel Farage on board. We have to bear in mind that Brexit Day currently is set for October the 31st, when the British MEPs will be leaving the European Parliament if the UK does leave on that Halloween date. So Marine Le Pen makes this announcement a little later on this morning. Uh, might this all be overshadowed, though, because, of course, there's been news that she's going to have to go to court uh, over those tweets that she sent. Tell us more. Yeah, the, Marine Le Pen's political career has been dogged by criticism of anti-Semitic, by sort of people criticising her for being anti-Semitic and anti-Islam. She tweeted out uh, back in 2015, she responded to a journalist who compared her political party with the so-called Islamic State group and she responded by uh, tweeting pictures of some of the violence that the Islamic State group had conducted and a French court is now calling her to face charges for that, for disseminating that kind of information online. She could face a €75,000 fine and potentially even up to three years in jail. So that's something that's going to be on her mind and will probably be asked about as she announces this new Identity and Democracy Party here in Brussels.